Hi everyone, it's Hubert Shorter here. I just thought I'd jump on and go through a bit of some of the combat that you can expect in Baldur's Gate 3. Remembering, of course, that it's got everything to do with the Dungeons and Dragons rule set. As you will see as we move into some gameplay. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I've um, loaded up um, this particular character. You can see it's Shadow Heart. Um, they've got strength of 12, dexterity, you've got constitution, all the things that I talked about in a previous video. And they've got a maximum of 17 hit points. That's the amount of damage that they can take before they are downed. So just to give you an idea. So let's just go back to this particular scenario that we're in we've got a maximum distance we can move of nine meters and there are various things that we can do at the end of that if we want now i think what i'm going to do um i don't want to do that i don't want to give any of my enemies a guiding bolt i'm i could do bane which i think is probably a good idea uh, target up to three creatures, they receive a 1d4 penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. So I might try that. But there are other options uh, here as well. You'll notice over here, I've got the Firebolt, and that's the one I think I'm going to use. So I'm going to go my distance of um, nine meters, my maximum distance. I'll just do that, and then I'll just hurl a Firebolt at someone. Let me just change my perspective slightly and I'll hurl a firebolt at this person. I've got a 60% chance of hitting this individual. Is there someone else I could perhaps... Oh, I'll, I'll just hit this guy. It, oh, actually I missed, which is a bit of a shame. So um, I'll just end my turn there. Now they're going to, going to do something. I think they might have just put me to sleep. The rest of the characters are going to do their thing. Until it's my turn again. Now this guy's pretty good actually. Right, um, I am going to see if I can do something with my wizard. Do a witch bolt, maybe. There we go. Completely dead. So I think I'll end my turn there, even though I've got more movement that I can, I can get this guy to do. So... This is not my main character, but I think if I can't jump, I, I, I wanted to jump, but um, you know what? I'll do this instead. Now, 45% chance of hitting this person with a hamstring shot. I don't like those odds. So I think I'll cancel that and I'll just see if I can get up there. And I don't think I can because of uh, some spell that's been put on me to slow me down. So, I don't really have much of a choice. Um, didn't really want to do that. Let's see, is there anyone else we could hit? Um, we'll try and hit this person. Because we, we want the high ground as much as possible. Oh, I was lucky there. Right, so... Can we do any... Oh, I'll stay there for now. AI. Dungeon Master's doing their thing. Oops. Very quick indeed. Oh. Right. Now, this is a bit of a tutorial. As it says, reactions. Reactions are responses to certain events, both during and outside your turn. You can choose whether they trigger automatically or whether the game pauses for your input. I think I'd prefer um, a pause so I can determine exactly what I want to do. But I ever want to get the high ground, so I'm going to go all the way up here and I'm going to see if I can push this person off. Oh. 
let's push them off. Oh, okay. Not as good as I thought I would be. Let's try something else. There we go. Got him. AI is doing its thing again. We are getting rid of a lot of these characters. The AI is doing a very good job of this. We've still got a few, so I'm going to go the maximum distance with this character. And do another, I think, firebolt. I do like a good firebolt. Didn't do that much to it. They need help. They definitely need help. So I'll see what uh, I can get my wizard to do. Can I put some, one of these to sleep maybe? Might be easier to get rid of them. Yes, I've managed to put them to sleep. That's good. Now, if I, I'm going to do a jump and see how far I can get. And get some, get into the action. Oops, I had a feeling that was going to happen, but never mind. Oh, that was the end of my movement, so I'll do an action surge. So I can get another action event. Oh. So I read that wrong, so I can't do that. I thought I could. That's, that's a shame. I was certain I could do that. Okay, never mind. But because they're sleeping, um, we can do these things. So let me see. That's only 42. So I'll, I'll jump down and see what I can do. It's always a bit of a thing when you, you jump from a massive, oh, massive distance. Sev Laws. Thinking about what to do next. I think I can move in and actually hit this character now. Now, what do you plan to do? Is there any part? Oh. Now, I've been dying to use this action. I love lacerate. Let's do second wind. That's what I thought would give me another action. But, you know. Anywho, let's get in here. Oh, I actually missed. That guy's kind of tricky, but we got him in the end. I think that's everyone, is it? No, no, he's still there. Just waiting to see who's going to do the coup de grace. Might be you. And there we go. And that 
Yeah, this is a cutscene right now, but that is essentially the end of the battle. So, um, hopefully that gave you some idea in terms of how the battle would progress in the full release of the game, how it's going to progress, I should say. Hopefully you've gotten some ideas in terms of uh, just how close it is to Dungeons and Dragons 5e. And as I said before, we're really looking forward to the full release of the game where we can jump in and really enjoy the adventure, minus the spiders, of course. Anyway, my name is Hubert Shorter, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.